Welcome back. Abandoned or derelict vehicles are eyesores in our neighborhoods and can create public safety hazards to our citizens. They create conditions that can reduce the value of private property, create hazards and all sorts of health-related issues since they collect stagnant water and harbor rodents or insects. Now the government is doing something about the problem. Kevil Frederick reports on this welcomed operation. While some 15 Caribbean destinations continue to wrestle with the vector-borne Zika virus, the Spice Isle remain free of Zika, but with an impending rainy season likely to begin in early May, the issue of vector breeding is still a worrying concern for the country. One common source of vector breeding that goes unnoticed is that of derelict and abandoned vehicles, many of which line our roadsides. Not only do they harbor vectors, which constitute a public health nuisance, but they detract from the environment and cause vehicular accidents and stagnate economic activity. The Ministry of Health, backed by the Public Health, Waste Management and Abatement of Litter Acts, has joined forces with the Solid Waste Management Authority and the Royal Grenada Police Force to curb the problem as best as possible. George Mitchell, the island's Chief Medical Officer, tells State of Affairs why. For us, addressing the derelict vehicle situation is um, a, a, a big thing. Um, it is, uh, as you know, a public health nuisance, and that as part of our mandate in terms of ensuring that the public health interest is protected, the ministry have to take the necessary measures at this time. Andre Worm, Chief Environmental Health Officer, says the Waste Management Act number 16 of 2001 empowers agents of the state to act on its behalf. The Act also guarantees protection to the state. DCMO believes that the stage is all set for the implementation of this new course. In general, we have tried to be in accordance with the law. So we have been on the media before now sensitizing the population in relation to the importance of the, of the act, importance of removing derelict vehicles on the roads. And in general, in terms of a national cleanup campaigns that would directly impact on our response to the Zika virus. So we have done that, we have put notices in the papers, we have been on several radio and television programs regarding the importance of derelict vehicles. And so at this point, when we think that the appropriate sensitization has been done, we have moved the, to the next level. And that next level is we have placed the notices on vehicles and in that um, context we started in the south of the island. It is just uh, an arbitrary start that we have made. We could have started anywhere else, but we started in the south of the island. So we have placed notices and we are about to move to the next stage, which would be the removal of these vehicles if they have not been done. 
The Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority is committed to reading the streets of the derelict vehicles and that's according to its senior public relations officer Mona Julian. She says the campaign to stamp out the public nuisance is timely and explains the role of the authority in this new development. On our part we will try to ensure that once vehicles are brought in um, through this process they are um, properly disposed of. We have facilities for the crushing of those that would be um, badly damaged, those that you know are more or less scrap, scrap metal, and of course um, proper storage for same. Um, we are concerned, as just as everybody else, about the presence of these items out in in the public, not just uh, because of the the. Um, hazard that they pose in terms of being present as traffic um, obstacles, but especially the public health risk concern. Julian says the authority faces many challenges on a daily basis with regards to improper waste management. She implore upon the general public to take into consideration the hazardous effects of improper waste disposal. When they are left out in the open environment, of course, they're um, an eyesore and we are particularly concerned about the public health, uh, public health risk associated. Apart from the breeding of mosquitoes and, and so on, we are concerned about the rodents and, and rats, you know, um, infestation of homes and communities, etc. And we would like to see persons really buy into the idea of better management of that type of waste if we are to move anywhere as it relates to keeping our environment clean and ensuring that um, we manage waste in a manner that does, does not adversely our environment and our personal health. The Royal Grenada Police Force is not shying away from stating how dangerous derelict vehicles are to daily commuters and road users. Sergeant No. 50 Ryan Smith, Chief Accident Investigator within the Traffic Department, tells State of Affairs how problematic the abandoned vehicles have become. A derelict vehicle is any vehicle that is left, left on any road, uh, or abandoned, or any vehicle that is discarded. Uh, you can see any vehicle that is left at any place in um, such a dilapidated condition that it cannot be considered um, safe for, for, for transportation. Um, derelict vehicles is definitely um, causing a problem on our nation road in the sense that um, section 67 of the road traffic act speaks that any vehicle that is abandoned or left on any road that may likely cause obstruction or danger to to other persons and also that um trickle down that it affects our economy in the sense that um derelict vehicles with um impedes um commercial vehicles that vehicles that um do um delivery sergeant smith explained that though these vehicles may appear to be abandoned, they each have a registered owner who can be charged and imprisoned if they fail to comply and cooperate with the removal notices. We are very eager because um, derelict vehicles also contribute to accidents in, in the sense that persons have to overtake these vehicles and as a result they are impeding on the other part of the road of the approaching vehicle. So we'll hope that um, persons will, will comply and, um, and really follow the instruction and, and the notice. Now, if someone fails to comply uh, with the notice that are issued in relation to the, to the derelict vehicle, um, now, once the person doesn't comply, an authorized officer who is the police or any member of the Ministry of, Ministry of Health um, will use the government resources to remove that vehicle. But by doing so, the, the cost of removing that vehicle will be the cost of the owner of, of that vehicle. Also, there is a $50,000 um, $50, fine and, and, a, and a six months imprisonment uh, as it relates to that. The Ministry of Health, Solid Waste officials and the police are indeed leading the overall process. But a clarion has gone out to owners of derelict and abandoned vehicles to be mindful of the responsibilities and the hazards that can potentially affect this country's citizens. We are calling on all persons who know of persons who have derelict vehicles that they can advise them in, in, in removing the vehicle and remove it as, as soon as possible. That's all for this week's State of Affairs. I am Kevin Fedrick. These are the images from across Grenada. This is State of Affairs. More stories from the hotline after this.